all think you can see me? You all think you know everything about me? <laughs> then try and catch me. special? He seemed really gloomy. Like a zombie. Yosuke! Yosuke! Alright already, I hear you! Sorry, I'm gonna give the phone to Ted. Sensei! It's me, Teddy! I finally got to see the Midnight Channel with my own eyes. Now I know exactly what's happening. That guy's suppressed emotions are resonating with the other side, which are picked up by the TVs over here. It's clear now that it's not being filmed by anyone. Mystery solved. But that kid, he must already be inside the other world. What are we gonna do? Gotcha. I knew I could count on you, Sensei. I think my heart skipped a beat. Okay, Risa and Teddy are checking out the other side, so we'll go ahead and start the meeting. Now about what happened last night, you guys all saw it, right? Yeah, shit he said made my blood boil. That mumbling of his and those fish-like eyes pissed me off even more. Who the hell is he? Huh, truth to tell, I get the feeling I've seen him before. I was surprised when I saw how clearly his face showed on TV. So I called Chie, and while we were talking, it hit me. Maybe that boy is the culprit. It's just a hunch, but it makes sense. We've been told the suspect is a high schooler. The police are after him for the murder of King Moron. So to see that on TV last night, at a time like this, I mean, he even taunted the viewers, saying, try and catch me. Uh, so? All right. Let's say there's this high school student. We'll call him Shin. For some random reason, who knows why, Shin is able to enter the other world. Then Shin, again for some random reason, starts throwing people into that world intending to kill them. The police can't prove the other world exists, so it's the perfect crime. He can't possibly be caught. Now, imagine you're Shin, but after a while, people stop dying when you throw them in the TV. You don't know why. You want to kill King Moron, but the TV is out, so you have to do it personally. Now the police are on to you. As a result, you, I mean Shin, is a wanted criminal, and there's no place for him to run. So, 
you're saying he went into the other world to dodge the cops? Oh, so that's why he said, catch me if you can. <laughs> wow, senpai, you're smarter than you look. Jeez, you can piss me off sometimes. We still don't know why he targeted people who were shown on TV. But if he had a personal grudge against Mr. Moraoka, that explains one thing. With a strong enough motive, wouldn't he forsake the untraceable TV method and try to kill Mr. Moraoka on his own? If you think about it that way, it sort of makes sense why Mr. Moraoka died without appearing on TV. But I wonder what that boy's going to do now that he's in there. With Teddy on this side, there's no way for him to get out. You don't think he's going to get desperate and end it all? He did look depressed, like it was the end of the world. No, I don't think that's it. The killer has to know that the people he threw into the TV have come back to this side. I can see missing Yukiko or Kanji, but Rise, a celebrity? There's no way the killer wouldn't know she's still alive. So that means he knows there's a way out of the TV world. As for the rest, We'll just have to ask him face to face. Hey, good timing. How did it go? Not good. There's not enough information to go on. But at least we're positive that someone's in there. I see. Wait, where's Teddy? He's still looking. All right. So we need to find out who that guy is. And if he is in fact the one the police are after. Once we figure that out, we just do our thing. That's right. If he really is the killer and he's escaped into the other world, the police don't have a chance of catching him. So it's all on us.
That's him, all right. It's definitely the guy on the Midnight Channel. It's settled then. He is the killer. And he's in here now. This guy came to our shop before. Was he spying on me? Oh my god, I really was being targeted. Damn it! Freaking punk! Hey, I've seen him before too! Hmm. Oh, now I remember! Yukiko, it's that one guy! That one guy? Back in April, remember? He suddenly came and started hitting on you? Oh, him! The dude who got served by Yukiko in front of the school! Man, Chie, how'd you remember something like that? Well, that was the first time he talked to her, but I remember he was always following her around. Um, sorry, who are we talking about? The dude who came right up to you at the school gates and called you Yuki? Oh. Uh, really? Wait, did he kidnap Yukiko to get back at her for rejecting him? Um, I didn't really reject him. He came up to me while I was busy working and asked, Don't the biker gangs bother you? Just going on and on about how biker gangs can't do anything unless they're in a pack and stuff. He seemed to be the type who just keeps talking whether you like it or not, if that makes sense. I usually treat those people politely so they don't get offended, but I was so tired that I kind of ignored him. Was that why I was kidnapped? Huh? Wait, I I'm not a biker. Ugh, that damn special report. So that's why I got dragged into this. You know, I heard he's been saying stuff about that announcer's affair, too. Lots of muttering about how women who cheat on their husbands should be executed. Sounds like it's all coming together. Well, it's time for a showdown. Can you tell where this Mitsuo guy's at? I'll give it a try. Just a sec. Yeah, I found him. He's that way. All right, let's go! We're so close to the killer. We can't lose him now. What is this? Some kind of game? Well, he did taunt us saying try and catch me. I guess he thinks of all this as a game. Oh, this pisses me off! I hereby sentence him to a hundred kicks to the face! Let's go! Gotta admit, all guys love games. And all girls love Teddy. <laughs> 